Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to review some of my Maestor boxed cars. Not a big fan about this brand. For the most part I only collect Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Also some old Majorettes I found in my local flea market. With that being said, I still wanted to show you this one. This car is very different from the others. Although the wheels are crappy as same as the others, you have interior part and also window. This one is a transparent window. As you see, it has some rough edges. But overall, it's a nice car. You also have some details like this Porsche emblem, front and back. So now I'm going to try to customize this one. Maybe I will take the base off and then I'll be back with an idea of something that I can do with it. Wait a second, I will drill them out and be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back and I think I'm going to fit this set of wheels instead the crappy ones that it had. I have no intentions to create something that is too much sophisticated because this one is not a Hot Wheels or Matchbox which I consider the best of my collection. So now I'm just putting those wheels in place and I will use my coin method in order to secure them properly while the glue is drying. I'm just laying this car over this coin and I'm waiting until it will dry. This car's body will have the old time racer looks so at the front I will leave it with black color and at the back you will have this red one. Also at the front the luggage compartment cover will be in red. Now I'm adding just a little bit of uh, rust effects and then I will uh, clear coat the entire car with some matte uh, clear finish. By the way, if you didn't try it before, I encourage you to try this weathering effect technique using these colored pencils. It is very easy to do and if you have like uh, three tones of uh, brown you can achieve a really nice uh, rust effect to your car. A very fast and accurate method to paint the wheels are to use a brush dipped with some silver color and then spin the wheels while it is inside the rim. This will probably give the cars the looks I wanted to have. Right after finishing the painting of this wheel set, I'm going to add some decals and extra details like 
painting the headlights and the backlights. So right now I will show you the car and how it looked like before my uh, customization. A regular plain Maystone Porsche 550. And here it is now. I had some decals and also the details of painting the interior, the headlights and the backlights. If you look carefully from the top view of this car, you can see hinges I've added, connecting the red area and the black area of this car's body. Overall, I think this one came out really nice, although it took me only a few hours to make. It has no suspension, just a little bit lowered body. Maybe you can suggest me something else I can do with this car, because I have extra one. So, if you have any suggestion, please let me know in the comment section down below. And now I would like to say thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.